Hey guys, welcome to Porter's nine month update. Porter is nine months old. Actually, I'm really late to filming this video and he's actually like halfway through his ninth month. It's just been so crazy here and it's really hard because usually I can film a little update while Grayson is napping, but these two have been on the same schedules lately and so I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to get Porter just to myself and I just give up. So you might hear Grayson talking in the background during this video. <laughs> as you can hear right now. Um, that's just how it is with two kids, so I'm sorry in advance for that. But anyway, nine months. Woohoo! He is nine months old. We have only three more months until he turns one and it's just so crazy. Porter weighs just over 20 pounds, so he gained another pound this month. So that weight puts Porter in the 64th percentile. Um, in height, he's in the 84th percentile, so he's really, really tall, which he's always been the high percentile for height. And then for head circumference, he's in the 78th percentile. So he is, sorry, I'm looking at my phone for notes. He is like above average for all three things. We went to the doctor um, for his nine month checkup. That's how I got those percentile weights. Um, he also got a shot at the doctor. He didn't like it, but everything is looking great with him. No concerns. He's growing awesome. He's very chunky. Yeah, nothing, no concern. So that was awesome. Porter got his first tooth this month. I will show you a picture of it. He only had one. It's the bottom right tooth, I believe, is what he got first. And for the longest time, he just had one coming in from the bottom. And it was the funniest thing because he looked like a hobo with his just one tooth. So we used to call him Snaggletooth. <laughs> Um, since then, he's gotten another tooth, so he's got his two bottom teeth together, and I know the top two teeth are coming. I can see the whites in his gums, so it's only a matter of days before he gets those, but as of right now, he has two teeth. Porter is starting to pull up onto everything he can and stand, um, so he'll go to the couch and he'll pull up. He loves going to the stairs, the bottom of our stairs, and he pulls up on that. Thankfully, he has not figured out how to climb the stairs yet, but I know that it's only a matter of time, and then my life will get very very hard because I remember it took Grayson forever to figure out how to go down the stairs safely. Porter loves to head for our stairs whenever we're upstairs so I need to watch him like a hawk because he will plummet down those stairs and our stairs are super steep in this house so it's a little scary. He has gotten so fast at crawling he will go just circles around our house and will follow big brother Grayson everywhere. He does not like to crawl on the hardwood floor. I don't blame him. He obviously prefers the carpet, but he has gotten a lot better. In the beginning, he used to like avoid, he would not crawl on the hardwood floor, but now he will do it. He just doesn't prefer it. Also with Porter pulling up on everything, that means we had to lower his crib for the first time. And so we lowered it just one notch. So he's not super high up, but he's in the middle. So we still have one more time that we can lower it before it's like already low. Although with Grayson, we ended up lowering it like to the floor <laughs> and kept him in the crib. So um, he hasn't tried to escape or anything, but definitely better to be safe than sorry. He has been talking way more lately. Of course he says mama and dada like always, but lately he's been saying a lot more eh. And so I'll be talking to him like, like where's Felix? And he'll say eh. Like he's trying to talk to me. And I remember Grayson said eh for the longest time. I was like, is he ever gonna talk? And obviously he talks now. So yeah, Porter says eh a lot. And he likes to talk. And he likes to go, yeah, 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 ra, 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 ba, ba, ba. But of course, like he doesn't really say anything meaningful, but along with language, he is starting to understand certain words. So I'll say, where's Felix? He knows to look for Felix. I'll say, where's Grayson? He knows to look for Grayson. Doesn't have mama and dada done yet. Um, <laughs> but he is very into Anthony and I. He's got that stranger danger going on. I think it's Stranger Danger slash Pandemic Baby. We don't go out very often, but also this is the month for Stranger Danger or like just the age. Anthony and I walk into a room and he gets the biggest smiles. He reaches for us. He loves being around us but anyone else comes into the room and he looks away, like don't look at me. He does not 
watch anyone else other than us. But the longest time, he used to be scared of even Anthony, but now that Anthony's been working from home and he's at home every day, he sees Anthony all the time, and so now he's loving Anthony, loves his daddy, huh? Porter loves to eat anything I have that I'm eating, he wants it for himself. He still loves veggie straws. <laughs> Baby food is hit and miss with him. Um, sometimes he'll gobble it up. He tends to do better on the fruits than the actual like meals, but he has been doing good. He's been not so crazy about his baby cereal, so I'm taking a break from that just because I don't enjoy like forcing him to eat if he doesn't want to eat it. So I've taken a break from that, but we are doing the baby food um, and then just like table scraps as well. He'll do pancake, eggs, animal crackers, just like anything that's not going to choke him. <laughs> Fruit, he's kind of iffy on. He's still trying to get the hang of it, so he doesn't love fruit that much but we're getting there so we're just experimenting but he's doing really really good he's on formula I think I didn't mention that I am not breastfeeding anymore um, I've been weaning him the past month because I went on a trip a four day trip and so I didn't want to have like boo clogged boobs and all that and it was just time he was my milk supply was dwindling he was over it so I have weaned him he is now 100% on formula and he does great with that he um, at first he did not want a bottle and now he does great with the bottles and um, yeah, he's been doing really great with that so our breastfeeding journey ended um, but you know, I'm not too sad about that I have my body back which is really nice and I know it's not going to be long till you know I probably have another baby and then you know I'm breastfeeding all over again so it's not sad for me at all. <laughs> Porter loves being outside still. The swing is hit or miss. He used to love the swing and now I think he just gets bored in it so sometimes he'll sit in it sometimes he'll just scream. He loves the water table. We've been getting out the water toys now that it's hot outside and he loves the water table. He'll get and he'll just splash like he's in the bathtub and he'll get soaked and he doesn't care. We also have a little splash pad that he loves to get into at times. Sometimes he's not about it and sometimes he is. He loves going on walks still and he loves being held, still loves being held. He does do a lot better now that he can crawl and he'll go and play with Gray and play in the playroom and stuff, but he still loves being close to mommy. Porter still hates being in the car and he hates being still for me to change his diaper or his clothes. Anytime I put him down now, he immediately tries to roll away. I have to give him a toy or like the wipes or something to keep him entertained long enough and I have to go as fast as I can to change um, his diaper is closed so that's kind of been a lot so this month the biggest thing kind of with sleeping is he has started to fight his morning nap some days I'll try to get him down for a nap and he won't even go down and so he won't take a morning nap one time I did get him down for a morning nap he only slept for an hour and a half but then he refused to take um, his afternoon nap so he was up from like 11 30 till bedtime at 7 30 um, so there's pros and cons with him being on one nap it's really nice because he and Gray are now on the same schedule Grayson still naps so I get like two to three hours to myself which is really nice also with him only being on one nap he goes down to bed so much easier he doesn't stay up until 10 o'clock at night he goes down at 7 30 sometimes 7 so that's really nice but I am finding that I miss the morning time of me and Gray just together. Um, I used to be able to clean a lot just because I didn't have a baby wanting me to hold him all the time and so I do find myself missing that. So um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with the naps, if I'm gonna keep trying to get him to take two naps or if I should just give up. It's just so weird because Grayson took two naps until 15 months and he's only nine months and he's wanting the one nap. So I'm just not sure if it's a sleep regression or if this is just him or I'm not sure but yeah that's been kind of a whirlwind is trying to figure out his sleep also sleeping at night he's terrible <laughs> he's still not sleeping through the night he's waking up twice sometimes he wakes up more than twice and it's a killer um, sometimes he wakes up and then he'll put himself back to sleep but he is still waking up at night um, people are telling me to just let him you know cry it out and 
I do think there's a time for that, but when I go in and I feed him, every time he gets up in the middle of the night, I go in and I take a bottle and I give him a bottle, and he drinks a good amount, like four to six ounces every time. So it's like he's actually hungry, so I don't wanna take food away from him if he is hungry. Of course, if he's still doing this and he's a year old and he's on like cow's milk, then obviously there's gonna be some changes to be made, but for now, I feel like he's actually getting you know, food and sustenance out of it. So I'm okay with it. Do I wish I was sleeping through the night and getting more sleep? Yes, but I, maybe he just takes a little longer. I'm not sure. As you can see, Porter's hair is starting to get so, so long. I am trying to hold out as long as I can um, to wait until he turns one, but I'm just not gonna make it. We have family pictures coming up in August, in the beginning of August, and so I think I'm gonna get his hair cut either the beginning of August or the end of July, just so he can look nice for those pictures. Um, so it's a month earlier than what I was planning on, but his hair is getting so long. So many people think he's a girl because <laughs> he has long hair, even though I dress him in like boy clothes. So yeah, it's definitely coming. He needs it. It's just getting out of control. Even though he's nine months old, he's into mostly 12 month clothes. This is a nine month outfit, but it is like super small on him. So I don't think he's gonna keep that much longer. Um, Jimmy's, he's completely into 12 months. He's just a big boy. Like I said, he's in like the 60 and 70th and 80th percentiles for all of his height and weight and head. So he just needs bigger clothes. He loves to snuggle, which I love. I love his little snuggles. Still sucking these two fingers. He likes to blow raspberries. He still doesn't laugh very much, but you know, if we tickle him, we can usually get a laugh or two out of him here or there. But yeah, I think that's kind of it for Porter for this month. Um, I just feel like with him being nine months, I've seen more of a personality come from him. He likes to play hide and seek, and so he'll go and hide in, in Grayson's tent that we have in his room, and then I'll pop out, and he does things to get Grayson to laugh, and so it's like more of a personality, and he's not so much of just like, you know, just a handbag or something like he actually has feelings and a personality and so it's been fun seeing him to be I feel like this month out of all of the ones so far he's acted like a toddler so it's exciting just to see like he's actually coming into himself and he's not so much of a baby anymore and he's getting just getting bigger so it's exciting to see but I think that's gonna be it for this month um, make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and we'll see you guys next time bye can you wave? Say bye. 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 Say mwah. Mwah. Still loves doing this. Bye guys. <laughs>